In the dictionary, it states that S is an indigenous woman of North America. Um, but to me, what it really means is it's dehumanizing, it's demoralizing, it's degrading, and it's also derogatory. There's a lot of mixed articles out there that talk about how it's not offensive, um, but a non-native person um, has no right to come to a native woman and say that it's not offensive. Native women are strong and that we, we don't deserve this, you know, we deserve better. The way we carry our families on our back and the way that we deal with all these issues and so now it's time to have new conversations, you know, for this next generation. A better conversation is to talk about our woman and talk about her efforts to Colorado and to um, our tribe, our tribal history as well. I myself, I'm Cheyenne, I'm Northern and Southern Cheyenne. Um, my name is Wustot and that's Morningstar in Cheyenne. Um, and my daughter and all of my children, I have four children, all my children have um, Cheyenne names. Uh, my nieces have Cheyenne names. And so I think that the impact here is really good. And it's just like a, a proud moment, not just for Native Americans, but for my family specifically. Um, you know, it, it's a great talking point now for my daughter and my nieces to have a new conversation um, to explain who Owl Woman was and to have a, uh, to feel proud to have a name in the same language. Um, so I think, I think it's really great. I think it's, um, I think it, it'll impact this next generation so positively now. It's a step in the right direction. Um, it's bringing my people, bringing our heritage, bringing our names back to Colorado. The 157th anniversary of Sand Creek Massacre just passed on November 29th. And so with the name change um, coming on Thursday, I think it's gonna be a great um, contribution once again to Colorado history, but this time in a positive um, in a positive aspect instead of the negative. Um, but it also brings awareness to what happened here in Colorado to, to my great-grandmothers and grandfathers. The next mountain we are working on is Mount Evans. Um, and Mount Evans is the one who signed the proclamation to make it legal to kill Native Americans and that led up to the Sand Creek Massacre. So that's next on the agenda. Um, and then I'm just grateful and curious to see what the future holds and I will be right there uh, making things happen for my family, for my, for my tribe, in the name of my grandmothers and grandfathers.